Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about setting your auto detailing packages, how to do this in the beginning, how not to do it, and how to communicate them to customers so that they don't get confused and they actually do want what you say you offer. What's going on, guys? My name is Luke Wilson, owner and operator of Wilson Auto Detailing, a detailing business based out of Nashville, Tennessee, and an online auto detailing training business based out of everywhere in the world, thanks to the internet. Now, let me go ahead and jump into this. For those of you who are beginning, I want to explain what not to do before I get into what to do, and we're going to be spread and jump around to a lot of different kind of business concepts, interweaving them into the detailing package pricing conversation. The very first thing that I want to highlight is most detailers in the beginning stages are copying other detailers. And there is no reason to feel bad about that because that's what everyone does in the beginning of anything. You look to other people to see what they're doing to get a context for what you should do. The issue with that, and this is something that took me a long time to figure out kind of, kind of why it's happening and how to articulate, but most detailing businesses, everyone should know, are really not very good businesses. There's not a good business structure around them. They don't make real money. They're not producing real revenue. They don't produce recurring customers. Most detailing businesses are really suffering. And so the reason that's important is because if you're a beginner detailer looking at other detailing businesses, you are looking, statistically speaking, probably mostly at businesses that are basically not profitable. And so when we're copying those types of businesses, you got to be really careful. The number one thing that most detailers do when they're setting their packages that is a mistake is they try to create tailored specific packages that basically encompass what they think is any type of need or want that a customer might have. I'll give you an example example. A lot of detailers will offer, let's say, six to seven different interior packages, a basic package, a more advanced package, a diamond package, a gold package, a premium package, and they're kind of named these confusing things. And each one includes different levels of different services. So again, to be specific, what I mean is the basic package might include a surface level quote unquote vacuum. The supreme package might include a full vacuum. The premium package might include um, a lesser version of a carpet shampoo, while a more advanced version of the same thing might include a more intense version of a carpet shampoo. So those packages are based out of what the detailer thinks different customers want. The reason why developing your packages like that does not work is because it is impossible to offer different levels, meaning lower levels or higher levels or smaller levels or more intense levels of different detailing services while also satisfying your customers' either known or unknown expectations. Let me give you an example. If I sell my customer on a basic package and in that basic package it costs them $100 and it includes, let's say, a 25 to 35 percent carpet shampoo, kind of a modest stain treatment, and I perform that service, I collect their money and then they go around the interior afterwards and they say, hey Luke, why is this stain still here? Why is this not taken care of? Why didn't you shampoo this part of the seat or this part of the upholstery? And I say, well, customer, it's because you paid for the basic package and it includes only a light or a soft or a, a non-intense level of carpet shampoo. And they're going to say, well, wait a second. I paid $100 and I thought carpet shampoo was included. And so you understand that a customer thinks in a pretty binary way when they're paying for something, either they're thinking the service is included or they're thinking the service is not included. That's actually the only clear way, creating that binary is the only clear way to make sure that you don't not meet their expectations when things are done. I've been doing this a long time and I can promise you if you are offering different levels of specific types of detailing services, you are going to really disagree point customers afterwards because they are not making the distinction in their head that you are making. And so one of the most fundamental ways to create success with your detailing packages is to think about them like Lincoln Logs. When I'm building a Lincoln Log house, I am taking one log after the other, putting it on the next, right? It's like a Lego. I either put the Lego on or I take the Lego off, but I don't saw the Lego in half and use half of it here and the other half there and then take a quarter of it and then break a piece off of it, right? I either take the whole Lego or I don't and I use the whole thing or I don't. Most of the time, and this there are some small exceptions to this when you are larger in the detailing world, but when you're beginning your business, 
Developing your packages around services that either are or are not included is going to set you up for success because if a customer pays for a basic package and it only includes a vacuum and it does not include a carpet shampoo, then there's a very clear expectation that they are not paying for carpet shampoo. So when there are stains and things like that left over in the, in the upholstery, they are not going to be upset about that after the detail is done. That's the number one thing I see detailers doing that really hurts them. Secondly, Let's talk about how many packages you offer. Well, in some ways, this next problem of offering too many packages, which is what most detailers do, is solved when you address the first problem, which is we only create packages around things that either are or are not included. But most of the time, what most detailers don't understand about the way customers think, because they're just beginning, they haven't talked to a lot of customers, and I've, I'm telling you guys this out of literally talking to thousands and thousands and thousands of leads slash customers over the last 13 years. Customers Customers do not categorize different detailing services or packages in their head based on services that are included, but rather customers categorize details in their head, packages in their head, based on the area of the car that they want detailed or the specific thing they want done. So let me explain what I mean. For you and I, as a detailer, we think, oh, our basic package includes this. Our advanced package includes this. We separate the packages based on what is included. For a customer, they do not think that way. A customer thinks, I need the interior of my car done. They separate it by area. I need the exterior done. Or they separate it by a specific thing they need done. So it's area, interior, exterior, or it's I have a scratch on the exterior of my car hood. I need that taken care of. Or there's a bunch of staining from you know my dog that was in the back seat on the uh, cloth seats. I need that detailed. Those are the types of categories customers have in their head when they are uh, thinking about the type of detailing package they need. There is no customer who calls you and thinks, hey, I'd like the package that includes the black trim restoration, the scratch removal, the exterior wash and wax with a low level of protection, and then with a hand dry and make sure that the wheel wells, tires, and wheels are dressed. They don't think that way. Only we think that way as detailers. And it's because we have to think that way because we have to think about what services are included. But the reason I bring this up is because if your services or if your packages that you offer are communicated to the customer in a way that only describes what they include, the customer will have a very difficult time deciding over the phone whether or not they're going to work with you because they're confused. The easiest way to communicate distinctions or different types of packages to a customer is simply by breaking it up based on the area of the car that they need detailed. So for example, when people call in and say, hey Luke, I've got a Toyota Camry that I'm looking to get detailed, how much do you charge? The very first question that moves that conversation down the road is, yeah, absolutely, are you looking for the interior to get done, the exterior to get done, or the whole thing? Notice that I'm not asking them about paint correction, I'm not asking them about ceramic coatings, I'm not asking them about cloth seat protection, I'm not asking them about specifics. I have separated into three categories the way that a customer thinks about the type of detail that they want because it makes them very it makes it very easy for them to respond so there's no burden of interpreting anything on them they're either going to say i want the interior the exterior or i'm going to want the whole thing then we can start to move down the road and say okay great for the interior we offer x y and z that's the second thing that i want to highlight it's the easiest way to communicate the third thing that i want to highlight here is to be very specific in the number of packages that you should have okay particularly in the beginning the most successful way that i have ever seen this done not only in my own business but also in training literally thousands of other detailers at this point who have scaled to at minimum three to five thousand dollars a month in recurring revenue and over 70 percent of them have scaled to over ten thousand dollars a month and about 12 to 18 percent it varies depending on the year have scaled to well over 20 30 40 thousand dollars a month so i've done this a lot with a lot of people and that's the only reason i'm saying that the third thing that's important to highlight is customers don't understand past a certain point in the amount of packages that you have. So for example, we've talked about so far simplifying packages into interior, exterior, or very, very specific types of work like scratch removal or black trim restoration. The first thing we talked about was making sure that we did not 
tailor specific services to lower level types of services or higher level types of services, but we just either include or don't include the service. The third thing I want to say here is most detailers in the beginning stage experience the most success when they're creating packages around three particular areas of the car, which is what I just described, interior, exterior, and complete detail. Having only those three types of packages makes it very easy for the customer to make a decision. The exception to that rule is it can also be helpful to have those three packages, which essentially includes everything that needs to be done to the interior, everything that needs to be done to the exterior, or everything that needs to be done to both in order to make sure that car looks fantastic. Okay, that's the three packages. But you can add a basic end and a really advanced end to each one of those areas. Here's what I mean. If I have an interior package that's just our standard interior package, and a customer says, how much do you charge? And we say, $250. And they say, okay, well, what does that include? And they're actually getting kind of detailed about it. They're like, well, it includes this, 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 and this. The easiest way to create additional packages is by making them very simple in terms of the value in excess or the value um, taken out. So I'm being a little confusing. Here's specifically what I mean. If I have an interior package, and it's the standard one that everyone pays for, but somebody says, well, we're not looking to do you know, a $250 detail. I can have an optional basic package that is also an interior package and there's a clear, I create the package where there's a really clear um, distinction between the basic and the standard interior detail. For example, on a basic interior detail, I would not include for example, door jams. I would not include carpet shampoo. I would not include any sort of interior protection, for example. Um, I would not include, let's say, pet hair sand or anything like that. I would. I might not include um, a like like a deep scrubbing of, let's say, like leather seats or steering wheel or those areas that get you know a lot of caked on dirt that people touch. We'll just wipe them down, but we're not going to really scrub and make sure that we get all you know everything off. Those things make it really easy for the customer to distinguish in their head the difference between the $250 standard detail and then the basic deal. And the basic detail option is helpful to have for in the beginning stages for when people can test you on price because it can be a really easy way to pull out an additional option that makes them say yes really quickly. That's why I'm saying that. The second thing to understand is you can also have a let's say supercharged or signature or advanced version of your standard interior detail. And this all applies to an exterior detail as well, where you say, hey, listen, there's an advanced interior option, which is everything that's included in the standard detail. But the difference is we include, for example, clear value propositions that don't need to be explained to the customer. Things like long-term protection. We put a ceramic on the interior leather. We put a uh, G-Technic smart fabric waterproofing on all of the interior upholstery so that it's you know waterproof for the next year. Those are things that people can make really intuitive, distinguishing sort of, they understand, oh, there's a clear difference between that and that. But I need to explain, there is a difference between doing what I just described and then saying, oh yeah, we offer our interior signature package, our interior basic package, our interior gold detail, our, our interior primary deluxe member diamond package, where they're just kind of like arbitrary things thrown into all of these, right? The only thing I'm saying is the classic thing that everyone must have is an interior package, an exterior package, and a complete detail. If you want to offer additional packages on top of that, this is the way that it works best. You say, oh, we have a basic version and we have a really advanced version. The basic version, but you create those packages in a way where it's really easy for the customer to intuit the difference. So we say, our basic interior package or our classic or our standard interior package includes everything. But if you're just looking for a quick detail, then the basic version essentially just removes some of these primary detailing services. There's no carpet shampoo. There's no protection. There's no... Um, there's no door jams, right? So it's just clearly taking off these things. And then the signature package clearly adds obvious, uh, an obvious greater value proposition, long-term protection, ceramics on the interior, uh, blah, 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 blah. And you can do the same exact thing with the exterior as well. Um, that's how you create detailing packages that succeed with customers where you don't have to do this deep explaining and overwhelm them on the phone. Guys, if this was helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want a resource that is going to give you all the tools and products that you need to be successful in the detailing world, video explanations, PDF explanations, master dilution ratios, access to discounts on all of these products, and all of that is totally free, you can grab that in the YouTube description box below. It's a resource that I created that I just supercharged uh, a few months ago with my video editor. 
and my videographer, we reshot it and we made it way more beefy. And I think it's really the only thing that exists in the detailing world where you can get everything you need in terms of tools, products, information about off-label uses, information about how to dilute, how to use these, how not to use them, and all that sort of stuff in one place. I literally don't think this exists anywhere else for free. Again, it's in the YouTube description box below. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, remember a great detailer is always learning. And I'll see you guys in the next video.